Hey, everybody. Two boys, one brain cell. Charles Beeson over there. Joel Norton over here. And today, I'm super excited. Some new Silverstein. Ultraviolet is the song we're reacting to. Uh, just dropped a couple days ago. One of my favorite bands. I've, I've seen these guys lot live so many times. Probably four or five times. With you, one or tw once or twice, probably. I know that we saw them once. Down in Columbus. Yep. I don't know if you went. I saw them at Warp Tour. I've seen them, oh my gosh, a couple different places. So. Yeah, I think I only saw them once with you. Love them. Silverstein and uh, Beartooth. It's, it's, got, it's probably my number one band. It's pretty dang close. Top three at least. So really excited to see what they're, they're putting out here. They have three new singles. This is one of them. <sighs> Shall we? Let's jump it's always right nerve-wracking when it's your favorite band. Like, is it good? <laughs> is it not going to be good? And now you're going to have to rate it. I'm going to have to rate it. Uh, let's go. Let go. Do you believe in things unseen? Because something strange has a hold on me. Waypoint. So far, dude, I'm kind of getting an old. You ever heard of Skillet? Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of getting a like an older Skillet vibe, like in the their late 2000s stuff. Okay. A little bit in the instrumental side. Yeah. Um. Overall, it's surprisingly kind of like a little bit radio rockish as well. Yeah, I could definitely see this on yeah. the radio. Yeah. Um. Mind you, I don't know a lot of Skillet. Just certain songs. Yeah. The bigger ones. Well, Skillet was a radio band, for sure. Yeah. This is Silverstein, in case you forgot. I know. I'm just making sure. But you brought up Skillet. He doesn't have the brain cells sometimes, so we got to make a check on him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. Once again, as always, I can't decide in mid-song <laughs> what I'm feeling. You could barely decide post-song. <laughs> You're exactly right. You're exactly right. I'm definitely digging the uh, the guitar. Yes. And, and the way it's all flowing. I'm definitely digging that. I, the lyrics in the background are kind of interesting. Yeah. It's definitely a different vibe from them. Yeah. I'm, I'm digging it so far, though. Hell yeah. Continue. Bye. <laughs> Yeah. 
That's all she wrote. That was Ultraviolet by Silverstein. Chuckles, what are you thinking about the song overall? Or do you want me to go first? I like it. Yeah? I like it a lot. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um. Mm, he threw me off when he threw the dopamine part of there. Yeah. Like, I'm sitting there like, is he talking about like a ADHD or something wild like that? Yeah, or depression is definitely yeah. something, yeah. And, and you could, like, it's definitely some sort of mental health thing going yeah. on with this song. Can't see it with my own eyes. Can't feel the lows or the highs. It doesn't stop when I try to fight it. I get lost in the ultraviolet. I'm learning I have no control. Yep. Is it chemi chemical, supernatural? Because it all unfolds. I'm learning I have no control. Yeah. And then and then the just that whole, that part. If the currents, the cure, light me up, 50,000 volts, reborn in electricity, sell my soul for dopamine. Interesting. He's huh. definitely got something going on that's mental health related within yeah. the song. At least that's what he's portraying here somewhere. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure where, but it definitely resonates with me with the ADHD and everything else. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm digging it. What you got rating wise? Playlist? I'm going eight and a half. Eight and a half? Absolutely. Wow. Playlist? Yes. Solid. I'm loving the meaning behind it, the way the way the lyrics actually are saying something. The differences throughout the song, the different drops, just all of it together. It's really well done. Absolutely. Uh for me, oh, this is gonna be hard. So I was just looking for a little bit more. I don't know what I'm looking for exactly, but it it wasn't. I wish the breakdown was a little bit heavier, with guitar wise. Actually, maybe scre screaming a little bit. I don't know. Um, it felt a little too radio rockish for my taste for Silverstein. Like I don't mind radio rock, but as for Silverstein, I wanted. To you went into it with high hopes. Well, their their last album had this kind of vibe as well. Yeah, kind of. Um, and it wasn't bad at all like i actually really loved their last album uh but this i, I just don't something's missing for me I, i'm not 100 percent sure and it's not bad at all right it's a different sound for them yeah so they're keeping it fresh uh i'm not particularly fond particularly fond of the radio rock sound right but uh it's still definitely above average in my opinion so I, i'm going to six and a half out of ten okay dig it i understand they're swapping things up a little bit keeping it fresh lyric wise phenomenal lyric wise it was insane yes love it um six out of, six and a half out of ten for me and it, it's gonna go on a playlist because silver is my favorite band so it's, it's gonna it makes a playlist regardless so <laughs> solid it was a three it was going in yeah i have i, I just throw whole albums in there by Silverstein. i love them so <laughs> yeah solid entry little swap up not particularly uh, particularly a fan of the song or not the song, the sound that they went for, the vibe. Yeah. But I can understand if it's a swap up, especially on the album, it's a little bit different. Yep. Like that song. Hey, that's a nice swap up. So kind of curious with the other two songs as well, what they sound like compared to this. Right. Um. But yeah, that's where I'm standing. Cool. Yeah. So we got a six and a half yep. out of 10 from yep. Joel over there. We got an eight and a half out of 10 from me over here. Solid. They go in both playlists. Hell yeah. Solid song. And if you guys liked our reaction, give us a like and a subscribe. We'd love to have you. Pretty please. And uh, vote in the comments. Let us know who got the brain cell out of this one. Hell yeah. We can all have some fun with this one. Um, but For sure. We're two boys, one brain cell. Y'all have a good day. Peace out, guys. Peace.